Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. My name is Amy, so if you're new, I welcome you. Today, I have a special request by my husband for a nice hearty soup. So I'm gonna make a creamy chicken and potato soup. And so the difference between this soup and some other soups that you might run across is that instead of using flour, to thicken the, the roux, we are actually going to use our sourdough starter. So if you don't have a sourdough starter, you can use flour in its place. So this soup is for everybody, but I just kind of wanted to show you that there are different ways to use your sourdough starter, like the leftover, um, for more than just bread. So let me show you what the ingredients are and we'll go ahead and get it started. I've got some carrots, celery, and onions diced up. Also some Yukon gold potatoes. I like those over the russets because they're less starchy and they hold up better in the soup. I've got some chicken breasts that I've diced into small pieces, some chicken broth and milk, some olive oil to cook everything in. You can see that I have flour and sourdough starter here. You're gonna use one or the other depending on what you have. It's just a really nice way to use up the sourdough starter instead of throwing it away garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. So that is it, so let's get cooking. I've got my pot on medium, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the olive oil in and let that get heating up. All right, so our pan is hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the onions, the celery, and the carrots. I'm gonna just saute those for a few minutes, let them get soft. Make sure you give them a little stir every once in a while. You're just looking for the uh, onions and celery to soften up. The carrots will continue to cook when we cook the potatoes and they'll soften up as well. The veggies are getting nice and soft. The onions are really soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the next ingredients. So this is the garlic powder, pepper, and salt. I'm gonna just coat the vegetables with that quick. It smells so good. I love the smell of onions and celery cooking. Reminds me of growing up in Southern Louisiana. Put that on everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the sourdough starter. If you don't have a sourdough starter, you can just use um, flour for this step. Now this is gonna start thickening pretty quickly, just like we would if you're making a roux. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes. Actually, just about a minute, not a few minutes. So, you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the, the pot. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the chicken broth and that is going to loosen up this little roux that we just made so that there's no clumps of flour from the sourdough starter. Okay, once we get it in there, gonna add the rest. Now that was just one cup right there. So we'll have to add the rest, but I'm just getting this kind of incorporated, getting all the flour from the bottom of the pot. So it doesn't stick. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the chicken broth. And we can 
add our milk. Our potatoes. turn the temperature up and bring this to a simmer and we'll just cook this until the potatoes are fork tender. And as this cooks and simmers that sourdough starter is going to thicken up the, the broth make it nice and creamy. Just let this simmer and you'll see the chicken starts to cook. And the potatoes will get tender so I'll come back and let you see it when it's done. You can see how nice and creamy and thick that it gets. I forgot to mention I kind of like to put a lid cap on so the, the steam can still come out but it lets it simmer in there without losing a lot of that liquid. Okay, I forgot to add the thyme, you guys, so let's go ahead and do that. You can add fresh thyme, or I don't have any right now, so I'm adding dry thyme. But it definitely needs the herbs in this soup to kind of help bring it together. So don't forget that step. Okay, this needs about five more minutes and it will be done. Okay guys, this is done and it looks and smells amazing. It's so rich and creamy. There's big chunks of chicken and tomato, I mean, uh, not tomatoes, potatoes. Yeah, so I'm gonna serve this up and we're gonna serve it with a nice slice of sourdough bread. I'll tell you what, this is gonna hit the spot for sure. See how yummy that looks? So I'm gonna serve this topped with a little bit of chives and then a side of sourdough bread. And that is gonna be dinner tonight. All right, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Go ahead and click on the link in the description box below and I'll have all the ingredients and directions in written form so you can print that out. And until next time, go make yourself a really nice, cozy, warm bowl of chicken potato soup. So until next time, bye guys.